Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain how to solve problem C count triangles from the code for C strong 643. In this problem, we are given four integers A, B, C and D such that they are in increasing order. We need to find how many non-degenerate triangles exist such that the numbers are included between the numbers in the statement. Since the maximum number is up to 500,000, we can't use anything like n a d squared or n a d third to get the answer. This will get time limit exceeded. So we must think at something more clever. During the contest, I found a solution related to both dynamic programming and math, but I'm quite sure there exists a math-only approach. I'm moving forward to explain my approach. First observation is that if we have three integers, a, b, and c, with a smaller than or equal than b and b smaller or equal than c, a triangle exists if and only if a plus b is bigger than c. This is what we are going to use in order to define our recurrence. My recurrence will look like this. dp of ij will be the number of triangles with uh, i sides already fixed and the sum of the fixed sides is equal to j. For i equal to 1, we have two cases. Either J is between A and B. So now the P of 1 and J is 1. And if J is not between A and B, the DP is equal to 0. Otherwise, zero. For the second line, we are going to have a slightly different recurrence. Since the length of the side has to be between B and C, for a given line, so dp of 2j, will be as simple as follows. The sum between j minus C and j minus B of dp of 1 and x where x is the term here. This symbol is the mathematical representation of the sum. So I'm basically computing the sum between the positions j minus c and j minus b, where b and c are the letters given in the statement, not the ones I have used here to define a triangle. Since the difference between b and c can be up to 500,000, we need to use prefix sums in order to compute this dp value. I'm going to explain that in the source code. Now for the last part, we don't have to use any dp. We can fix the side length between c and d and then do some math, which I'm going to explain in the source code right now. As you can see here, I got pretest passed with uh, 20 minutes after the start of the contest and my recurrence looks like this. In the first part, I'm explaining, uh, I'm defining the first uh, part where I'm fixing one to all the positions between A and B, and then I uh, create the prefix sums for the first line. Why is the second dimension equal to 1,500,000? Since the constraints are up to 500,000, we must uh, consider the worst case where all the sides are equal to 500,000. So this gives us a sum equal to 1,500,000. And this is what I'm going to use in the for loop. Now I'm drawing the second line. The second line, as you can see, has uh, the i between 1 and 1,500,000, where the i represents the sum. And in order to avoid getting undefined behavior from accessing net negative positions in memory, I'm using two ifs statements. If i is bigger or equal than b, the value will become equal to the prefix sum up to position i minus b. And if i is bigger than c, we are going to drop the prefix sum up to position i minus t minus 1. This is the code representation of the mathematical statement I have given in the sketchpad before. And all we have to do is to assign the value to the dp. 
Now for the third side, I'm going to fix the length between C and the minimum between D and I minus 1. Why we must do this? Because if the side length is too big, we may end up with a degenerate triangle. So we need to ensure that the, board, the borders are designed correctly. All we have to do is to multiply for each step the value of the DP at the line 2 and column E with the maximum between 0 and the value of the expression here. And all we have to do is to sum up all these answers. If you liked watching this video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell button in order to get notifications about my upcoming videos. Also, you can join my Discord server for more competitive programming content. The link is also in the description. Until the next time, stay safe, stay healthy, good luck and goodbye.